Alright everybody, we are here today checking out a little upcoming banger I've been closely watching for a bit now, for uh, obvious reasons. This right here is Zoraya and the Cursed Land. It's supposed to be a metroidvania, a little bit on the difficult side, especially from what I remember from the old itch demo. Today we're checking out the Steam demo that's available to all of you guys, but I played this originally on itch a couple of years back. And it's a game all about you playing the role of an orc, Dami, Mommy. That's good. Okay, so first things first, this is completely new to me. Before you would just um, dive into the game, you'd awaken in some dungeon. Now you apparently have stat distribution. So uh, th what I played this original was like a couple of years ago, so... Um... I, I guess I'm gonna go damage. Sure. I'm a brute. Give me all the damage in the world. Zariah, wake up. Who is speaking to us in this tone? Chocolo, is this you? Seriously? How long are you gonna... How long are you gonna sleep? Seriously? How long are you gonna sleep? I thought you said you wanted to wake up early to explore a bit before sailing. Anyways, we'll so we still have time if you want to explore a bit. I'll dress up and come outside. Yo, look at this orc shirt that Dami Mami has. All right. Door goes Amon. Morning, Green. You didn't explore a bit? Morning, Dorgi. Yes, I really want to explore a bit before sailing again. Spending so much time inside a boat is driving me crazy. Well, you do you. Let's go. Hey, good morning, sleepyhead. I feel like if I don't wake you up, you would sleep for an entire year. Morning. <laughs> yeah, I really like to sleep. I guess an orc... I guess it's an orc, I need more sleep time. Yeah, makes sense. Nah, you're just lazy. Don't use your race as an excuse. Anyways, I'm still not convinced about this uh, adventure. That old man seemed really worried about it. He said his ne nephew wanted to explore and never came back. If it's true, we're going straight into the wolf's mouth. I feel this is a really bad idea. But she won't listen. People always exaggerate the stories to make them more interesting. It's not the first time we hear something like that. You always have a bad feeling about everything. Yeah, I hope you're right. Anyways, go out exploring. The island's not that big anyways. Come back when you're done. Can... can you say it without making it sound like a little, I'm a little girl playing adventure? Yeah, you know, I tried my best. Come on, Green. I'm starting to starve after so long in that boat. I need something to eat. We'll find some monsters if we're lucky. Okay, so we got our heels here, and we have, um, Tutorial Orc Mommy Dami, too. Man. I'm telling you, we need more games with Orc Dami Mommies. <laughs> Any villains to strike down momentarily? No, we got a little training dummy, though. We got some crits already. First attack was a crit. Now, Cedar Roll is gonna be interesting, because, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go, right trigger. Seems we might have two options to go through here. Up. Oh. Okay, we do, like, uh... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we could do kind of like a little wall climb thing. And we could save here. So that would be progression. I don't want progression, I kind of want uh, alternate path first. Is this a dead end? Oh, it's not. Treasure chest. You gotta love the little extra wiggle, little wiggle involvement with that, you know, chest uh, scurrying about. You just, you just know. Now then. Could we also do this at all times? Yes, so... Where am I? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm stuck. Good! Okay, so I guess we probably won't go through there. <laughs> Let's try the bottom path. That was weird. It felt like you could go through there though, right? It just kind of phased me into like the wall. So I guess we'll just go down here below. Is this the same area we got stuck in? Or not? There's spikes here. I'm not sure there were spikes on. Oof, 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 oof. Speaking of spikes, I'm not sure those are instant deaths, but uh, I'm not really trying to figure out. Got some gems here. Oh, hey. These, uh, enemies are rather intriguing looking. 
Okay, chill, chill. Don't, don't, uh, <laughs> don't accelerate too much, mommy. I'm just trying to drop down here because you can't really scroll the camera down. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Another little bug dude right there. Go down through this side. There's a chest over there. A block that unfortunately right now I don't think we have the abilities to probably break. Those so a Metroidvania, we'll just come back later once we pick up the bright full ability for it. That's just a little light. I guess forward we go. Look, monsters! I'm really starving. Go fight them. Are you sure those are monsters? They look all happy dancing around. Totally! Go near them! If they attack, you... It means they're bad. Oh well, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> I somehow doubt that. If you're like a stranger coming into somebody's land, they're only gonna feel compelled to attack you because they don't understand what you are. Doesn't necessarily mean they're bad. But I mean, they are attacking, so... Alright. Maybe the spirit dude isn't a, bad, a good guy after all. Chocolo was right. Get my bag of goods here. Oh, yo, 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 wait. Did, did me rolling through this do the turtle? Because I rolled and that guy died. I kind of need to make sure, like, if I could roll hurt people. No, no, not that time. Hm. Oh. I felt like I rolled through that dude in the bottom and we killed him with the roll, which I was very shocked by. Okay, so this is now done. Fetch you souls and we kill a small little village of dudes just hanging out. So we could go through there, maybe? Let's uh, drop a little savior really quickly first. Uh, oh! Oh! Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> I'm not sure that was supposed to happen. I guess maybe it was. I'm. Uh, <gasps> I. Yeah, I'm. I'm confused because we we popped up over the, we got stuck there last time in the wall earlier. So I am a little bit hesitant about the game's like you know boundaries. And the same thing, though, now I just kind of want to, you know, like typical Metroidvania style, just now mash up more than usual against any single wall, just thinking that there's going to be like some sort of secret. This we should be able to push, right? Yeah. The moment you showed me that treasure chest up there, it was like, ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, no, you know what? It's on me. Maybe you're just supposed to go through walls and, you know, find secrets that way. So the one up top, unidentified ring, the one up top that we went through, I kind of skipped out by not going that way. We probably would've gotten like an extra chest or something. But I guess we could always check it out later once we circle back around. Bad idea. What I would like though is like a way to kind of scroll the camera down just so you know what you're jumping down to. Yeah, for reasons like that. <laughs> yes. But again, do you see how useful it would be to be able to scroll the camera down? Because, I mean, come on, you're not thinking about doing this the first time you see that box, right? You're thinking, all right, I'm going to drop down this hole. So it's a beginner's trap? Oh, you better believe it. If it was a camera scroll in the game, I wouldn't say it was a beginner's trap. But without the camera scroll, it definitely is a beginner's trap. Now, does this do anything for me? Can I go through a wall somewhere? No? Okay. Just uh, making sure. Out of the way, you. By the way. Um, oh, she's Louise. <laughs> I thought I was about to die again, Doug. Um, these items that we have. We got an unknown ring, right? A symbol of the bound between two souls, duplicate the amount of arrows drop, plus three to all stats. How do I equip this? Can I equip this? I can equip this. Well, luckily, I'm in front of my keyboard, so I could just equip it. I don't know. I don't know what the keys are for, like you know, the gamepad. So we'll do plus one HP, fifteen seconds. So like passive regeneration. Uh, sure. What is up with these hearts? Is it the uh, friendship ring that I got? Because I mean, these hearts make me think of something else, Doug. And I don't think this is that type of game. 
Unless he's supposed to, you know what? It could just be the regeneration effect. Now we could apparently climb through this side. I don't know what's down, but again, I'm worried about just going straight down because last time, you know, I got impaled. And we haven't picked up a little, like, you know, save spot on the way. So if I die again, we got to traverse all this stuff back down here again. Yo, oh, 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 oh. Spikies are still there. I'm not sure these spiky balls have a lingering effect, but, uh... Say again? This means you climb back up. There's a vampiro bat right there, too. I see you. I have limited oxygen underwater, huh? Oh, hey. For some reason, the vampire is an item. Oh, it's blue monster skin. Okay. So there are going to be underwater portions, too. This looks oddly suspicious. I'm surprised we can't walk through there and find a chest, but hey. Oh, here we go. Here's our underwater portion. So now we got to just be Jack, be nimble, Jack, be quick. Jack, don't drown underwater. And I couldn't make it really rhyme at the end there, but you know, whatever. You know where we're going with that. Oh, wait, it was just for a chest. I thought we were going down the main path. Maybe it was supposed to be. Oh, what? There's cave? There's entrances? I would just, personally, me, I would just make the outline or at least a bit more obvious. You can kind of go in there, like make the archway like a bit more lit up, like make it pop a little bit. Some areas are too dark to explore without a light source. Oh, 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 I didn't, I, 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 so I'm lucky I made that one. I wanted to jump a bit further from the edge than I actually did, but all is well. We have also leveled up and got another stat point, which I guess I will distribute at some point. There goes that crit. I haven't been seeing him too often. So we can indeed climb up this wall if we go down. But before we go down to plummet to my death, possibly, let's uh, go up. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wind down. Please not into spikes. Are those tentacles? Don't you dare. Oh, now he's back. Come over here, coward. Oh, got two of them. Okay, this time we have a pushy, but not one from this side at least. What the hell is this? Sonic daggers, shatters fra- ah. Um, hold up, hold up. So, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me put you into Q? And then you into S. I can't put you into S. What about W? Put you into W. So S would just be for weapons, S and X for weapons, Q- Okay, so now, here's the problem. Now I gotta find out. <laughs> I gotta find out on my gamepad what is that over there without hopefully using... Let, let me find a stone. There it is first. Not that. Damn it! Much better. Of all the items, of all the buttons, I had to choose the potion one. So you know what? It means that left button is the stone. I would prefer it the other way around. So you know what? Give me a second. Perfect. Yeah. So this would probably... Hmm. Did we see dagger, like a stone area? I feel like now that we have like an item, we could probably be going to like, you know, boss country or something. Oh, I can't jump and toss the dagger? You have to be standing still to toss the dagger. Okay. Okay. Big chest here. The only thing is that I gotta tell you. Ancient orb obtained. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, we, uh, we, we can't necessarily make it up there. From here now. Okay, so, uh, this time, since we already got that chest, let's go upwards and around. Like so, and there it is. So this gets us hopefully somewhere new. Because we can't go back the way we came because we fell down that, like, big-ass waterfall that basically put us here in this area to begin with. 
Oh good, more spikes. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Are you by like any chance like timed ledges? No. It's like you're gonna fall underneath your weight or something. So let's see here. There's a lot of spike pits in this world, isn't there? Like who who designed all these things and why? Who needs as many spike traps? Oh, you know where we're at? We're at the start again! Yo, we've moved back! Perfect. Let's go, boys. So we loop back and we got the Sonic Daggers. Oh, you know what? Now we should be able to continue going forward. Up top. Which I believe we were blocked off by... Yep. These right here. Okay. Oh, it's boss time, ain't it? Oh, it's boss time. I told you to stop bothering me while I'm resting. Go kill someone or whatever you blue pigs do. What? I'm green, not blue. Are you talking about the monsters that attack me? Who are you? How did you get in here? Those idiots should have stopped you. Oh, they tried, but I won. You killed them? How am I supposed to get free food now? You're gonna pay for what? For that, you filthy orc? Excuse me? How dare you? How dare you? Okay, easy. Do you have a health bar that I could- Oh, okay. You have a charge attack. And you also roll like I do. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like gonna be like an unlockable character you could use at some point. She has very similar uh, moving patterns to you as the player character. What are you doing? What's that? Oh, 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 what's, what's happening? Oh, it's the blue guys. I mean, they don't really do much of this one, yeah? Ow. It's mainly her charge attack that gets me. Just because your, your swing isn't that quick, you know? Oh, great. Now you're a human tornado. It's like we're playing Dark Souls, you know? This is basically a Dark Souls PvP invasion right here. <laughs> Nothing but rolls all over the place. Down. Damn it, defeated by an orc. I should have spent more time training than eating and sleeping. I'm actually just half orc. You put up a good fight, but I think you move a bit slower than with that big mace. Shut up. You killed all the goblins. Now I have to look for a new home. Oh, I'm really sorry. I thought the goblins were evil because they attacked me. They are. They attacked me too when I first got here. But after I killed a few of them, they started bringing food. So I decided to stay here. Look, I'm not that smart. I know that. But I'm sorry I destroyed your place. Maybe I can repay you. Repay me how? You could come with me and Chocolo. We travel around the world in search of adventures. Adventures? Yeah, we travel from place to place, helping people and defeating monsters. I really love to explore and discover new places. I see, you're traveling with, uh, with other orcs. To be honest, I thought orcs were more wild, but you seem nice, aside from killing all the goblins and beating me up. But I attacked you first. Oh, Chuckle is a human. Most orcs live in the wild, and only a small part live in a civilized way. I guess that's why a lot of people fear us or don't trust us. I grew up in a human village, so... Oh, you travel with a human. I haven't seen a human in so long. Is he handsome? Handsome... I don't know. I guess? I never thought about that. Anyways, I accept your offer. I'll travel with you and Chocolo. I don't have anywhere to go. Nice, let's go. That's it. That said, everybody, we're going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you have enjoyed. This has been Zariah and the Cursed Land. I'll have a link for you down below. As I've mentioned, this is a demo that's available to you guys as well. Definitely check it out for yourselves if you're into Metroidvanias and you're into Orc Dami Mommies. And you should be. I'll catch you next time.